we have um, a Clover Trail based tablet running Windows 8 with Clover Trail. And um, this is a uh, similar tablet, but with the Qualcomm based uh, Snapdragon. And what we're doing here is showing power measurements of um, the battery and the CPU and GPU. So what we have here, the white line is showing the Clover Trail uh, battery power, and the pink line is showing the uh, Snapdragon based um, tablet power at the battery. And similarly, we have the blue and green lines for CPU and GPU on the Clover Trail, and the red and yellow lines for the SOC on the Qualcomm side. So right now, this is idle power. Uh, you can see some refreshes because some of the tiles are moving, um, but you can also kind of scroll around on the home screen, and you can see some activity there from the scrolls from each of those systems. Um, so let me scroll back to the Internet Explorer and load up the web page. So if you do that, perfect. So it loaded uh, into the browser and now is showing the web page. And you can basically scroll around in the web page and zoom in, zoom out, kind of um, scroll up and down, click on the links, etc. So you'll see that in this particular site, um, the uh, CPU power is quite high on both systems. Uh, looks like there's some, probably some JavaScript or other things running in there, right? Um, that's causing some of that activity. Um, so you'll see overall, as uh, the page has finished loading and some of the things have settled down, that um, some of the activity has dropped off, right? So it does idle out after um, a few seconds or so. So, okay. So um, additionally, you can show some games if you like, or um, also show some other. Um, yeah. Okay, so some game on here, for example, uh, Angry Birds Space as our favorite game to show. Uh, pick a level, maybe one, two, one. Would you like to play on that one over there so we can try to <coughs> attempt to fly this bird at the same time on both systems? So you can see the activity. Didn't see too much activity from that uh, all the CPU GPU side from the both systems, but you do see a little bit of a spike there from the touch event. Uh, and then what you'll see is as it pulls up the score uh, from each of those uh, devices, that um, the pink line here for the Snapdragon based uh, system is showing a lot higher power uh, during this uh, scoring screen uh, because the background activity is sh still showing in terms of the, the uh, rendering, but it does have the overlay. So there is some software, hardware, various optimizations possibly uh, in terms of optimizing for that. But generally speaking, they're in the same ballpark of power.